Hi, I'm Charlotte with Freezer Meals 101. It's a little bit hard to believe that Easter is already this weekend, especially considering that where I live in Canada, it's actually snowing right now. <laughs> so as I look out my window that way, I can see the snow falling and it seems a bit ridiculous that I'm doing an Easter video for you today, but it's true, Easter is this weekend so I wanted to give you some ideas of what you can do with your leftover ham. I know that that's a question a lot of people have. Of course, if you're like me, you don't want anything to go to waste. And if you end up with a lot of ham after your holiday dinner, then what are you supposed to do with it? You obviously don't wanna be eating ham for weeks or a week every single day. And there's only so many, you know, ham bun witches that you can eat. So I'm gonna give you ideas today for freezer meals that you can make with the ham. So that way, when they're in your freezer, the ham isn't gonna go bad and you can be pulling them out over the next few months actually. So you won't get sick of ham and you can pull it out whenever you feel like eating ham again. <laughs> okay, so first you just wanna take whatever ham you had left over and cube it. Now, because I'm doing this video before Easter, um, I don't have leftover ham. I have just a ham that I bought for the purpose of showing you what to do with leftover ham. So I went ahead and cubed that up and put it in a bowl. And I'm just going to use a measuring cup in the bowl to be able to scoop that into our recipes. And we're gonna get started with these leftover ham or ham freezer meals. The first one that we're gonna make is a pizza casserole. I've gone ahead and measured out uh, two cups of pasta in a measuring cup, and we're gonna put those two cups into a medium-sized freezer bag. And you're just gonna seal that and you will be stapling this bag onto your large freezer bag so that you'll have everything you need on the day that you go to cook this. Now, you might notice that I have things grouped by recipes. So I've got our ham and potato casserole that we're gonna be doing next. I've got some of the ingredients for that here, and then I've got pizza casserole ingredients here. The reason that I do that is because then you're saving time not rummaging around in your cupboards. So I have things all set up, and then over on my other counter over there, off screen, but <laughs> it's there. Uh, I've got the next, the ingredients for the next recipe, which is a ham and white bean soup. And so I can grab those and replenish like as I make room. So anyway, just a small little freezer meal trick there that will help you as you're doing this. So now into our large bag, we're going to add some Parmesan cheese, mozzarella cheese, onion, green pepper that I'd already chopped ahead, two cans of tomato sauce, Italian seasoning, and red pepper flakes. We're gonna give that a good squish to combine it, and of course add our ham into there. Forgot to mention, most important ingredient, the whole reason that we're here, the ham. <laughs> anyway, this recipe calls for two cups of ham. You can find this full recipe in the description box down below. Just click on the video title to open that description box. You'll find links to the recipes and also to the Freezer Meals 101 Club where you can find all these recipes and more plus the ability to create custom meal plans and print off your own shopping lists for freezer cooking. So now that that is all in the bag and squished together, we're gonna take all the air that we can out of the bag because when you're freezer cooking, air is the enemy and you don't wanna get freezer burns, so you just wanna get as much as you possibly can out of there, seal that, and then you're gonna staple that bag with the pasta onto this bag. And as easy as that, you've got your first recipe done. This is pizza casserole. My kids love it. It's an awesome slow cooker meal which is even handier because anything that can go from the freezer to the crock pot is a winner in my book. The idea for today's video actually came 
from something that was in our Freezer Meals 101 Facebook group. Someone asked in there what they could do with some spiral ham that they had left over and people offered such amazing suggestions that I had this idea that maybe, you know, before Easter I could create a video with ham recipes for you so that you wouldn't end up having to have your ham go to waste this year. So I'll tell you some of the suggestions that were in the group and between those and the recipes that I'm sharing with you today, you should have a lot of great ideas of what you can do with that ham. Ham fried rice, pea soup, in your corn chowder, um, mixed into a mac and cheese, and mac and cheese freezes beautifully. So you could also do that as a freezer meal, as well as all of the soups, the corn chowders and the pea soups and the soup we're doing today and all of that. Those all freeze beautifully as well. So again, great way to use up that ham. In your baked beans instead of briskets, which I thought was a great idea, and that would freeze also. Um, in breakfast things, such as breakfast bowls, breakfast burritos, breakfast quesadillas, and in our scrambled egg bites. I will put the recipe to the scrambled egg bites below this video because those are a way that I often use up ham or even extra luncheon meat that we have that week. Sometimes I end up putting those in the scrambled egg bites and those are a great grab and go for busy mornings. Okay, now that we've talked about soup, let's make the soup that I have planned today, which is a ham and white bean soup. We're using uh, some white beans, water, the ham, Italian seasoning, onions. Now, you can put chopped celery in this recipe and that will freeze fine right in this soup, but I'm allergic to celery so we don't add celery into our recipes. Uh, you're gonna do some chopped carrots, garlic, hot sauce, salt, pepper, and parsley. This is gonna be a good one. The last time that my neighbor Christy and I got together to make our big mega marathon of three months worth of freezer meals in two days, which we do every three months, and it's fantastic fun for us, exhausting, but also super fun, lots of laughs, and we get some amazing meals out of that, great new recipes that we discover and all of that. So this last time we made quiche, and it was our first time that we've made quiche. I'm gonna put a link to that video our mega meal marathon video right up there. But um, today we're gonna use the leftover ham or leftover ham in <laughs> quiche as well. So we're gonna do ham and Swiss quiche. For the quiches, I'm gonna go ahead and make a couple here because I have enough ham left to do that. But I'm just going to use pre-made pie crusts. Uh, I've never made my own, so <laughs> not under any illusion that today is the day to start. So you're gonna use your uh, deep dish frozen pie crust, five large eggs, three quarters of a cup heavy cream, some salt, um, garlic or garlic salt, one cup of grated Swiss cheese, your ham, of course, and if you want to, you could add in some spinach or onion or whatever. We're just gonna make these super simple today. And on the day that you cook those, you can cook them either from frozen or from thawed. For the ham and potato casserole, the full recipe is of course in the Freezer Meals 101 Club or down below. We're using frozen hash browns, cubed ham, of course, onions, shredded cheddar cheese, a can of cream of chicken soup, half a cup of sour cream, salt and pepper. So this is a very easy, like quick to throw together recipe. And because the hash browns are frozen already, you can even use potatoes in it. Now, unless they're pre-cooked or already frozen, you wanna steer clear of potatoes in freezer cooking as they end up with texture and even like color issues if you freeze and thaw them otherwise. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you got some great ideas to use up that leftover ham. I'm gonna put a video right there to some recent ground beef freezer meals that I made that will hopefully give you some great weeknight dinner ideas. Uh, thank you again for joining me today and happy Easter.